What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a movie by the best duo filmmakers working today, and that movie is... Hail Caesar, directed by the Coen brothers, starring Josh Brolin, George Clooney, and Ray Fiennes. Now this movie takes place in modern California about a 1950s movie called Hail Caesar, as the title says. Josh Brolin plays Mr. Mannix, who is the head problem solver slash movie director that's trying to get this movie done, and he's trying to fix these problems along the way. The biggest problem that happens is his head star, played by George Clooney, gets kidnapped by these little extras, and so what he has to do is to find this ransom to see where he is, and he has to try to get him back. And then it leads to a whole lot more problems than that. In Coen Brothers style, of course. Before I even start this review, guys, I have to say, I saw this movie in an empty theater. I was blown away. I felt like I was in a private screening. Like, I could react as loud as I could to this movie. Looking back on it, it was also kind of creepy. Ooh. Now, when I heard this movie was being made, I was anticipating it because you look at the Coen brothers, they're one of the best working directors today. And in my personal opinion, these guys are either hit or miss. And I have to say, guys, when I left the theater watching this movie, I was really bored. So here are the positives and negatives of the Coen brothers film, Hail Caesar. One of the things I liked about this movie was the cast they had. This is an all-star cast of great actors. You got Josh Brolin, George Clooney, Ray Fiennes, Channing Tatum, Scarlett Johansson, Jonah Hill, Tilda Swinton. Those are some great actors. Like when I saw the trailer to this movie guys and I saw all those names, I was anticipating this movie to be something good. But to me, it just really wasn't. Out of all those performances, only two of them stood out to me. One of them is the lead, Josh Brolin. I thought his character was the one we could relate to most. Like, he has the most screen time by far. And I thought he did a pretty good job with all the shit that was handed to him. Also, I thought Ray Fiennes did a good job in this movie too. There was one scene in this movie which I thought was hilarious. You guys know what it is. It's the scene where he has this cowboy kid do this one specific scene and this kid keeps messing up this one word that's really hard to say. I don't know what it was. It's really hard to say and I thought it was really hilarious. And Ray Fiennes did a good job too. Another positive I do have, this film does look great by the way, and the cinematography is by Roger Deakins. I mean, Roger Deakins, what can I say? This film did look great, and Deakins has never made a film look bad, so the cinematography, good. Now, let's talk about the things that I didn't like about this movie, <sighs> and there's a lot. First off, I felt like the overall story didn't make any sense to me. It's sort of like Josh Brolin, who's the fixer, like George Clooney, he gets kidnapped and he has to figure out where he is and then all this other stuff is happening. Just like the pacing was really off and just the way they presented this overall story and the runtime just didn't fix in my head. And I have to be honest guys, I almost fell asleep just how bored I was watching this movie. Another thing I have to talk about is I felt like a couple of characters in this movie didn't get enough screen time or were just used as plot devices. One of them is Scarlett Johansson. She was like the mermaid coming out of the fountain. She was only in two scenes in this movie and I felt like she was a plot device. She's a good actress. If you have her in your movie, give her more to do. Plus, it would have been great to see her more. She's my celebrity crush. Some other characters didn't make any sense to me were Channing Tatum's, Jonah Hill's, and Tilda Swinton's. I kind of felt like Channing Tatum was just put in there to be like the pretty boy. Jonah Hill was only in one scene in the movie, and Tilda Swinton's character was used too many times. In the end, guys, this movie definitely wasn't my cup of tea. Definitely won't see it again, or definitely won't buy it on Blu-ray. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Hail Caesar a 2 out of 5 stars. Definitely not one of the Coen Brothers' best movies, but the cinematography did look good and it has a good cast in it. 
You guys want my honest opinion? I suggest to skip this one and see Deadpool again. That's my honest opinion. Alright guys, that was my review for the Coen Brothers film, Hail Caesar. Have you guys seen the movie? Did you guys like it? Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this review, and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe today for more content. My social media links are in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!